I know, most of my audience is from the USA. YouTube tells me that number is up at 82%. So, speaking to my fellow Americans, I think we have the best collection of roller coasters in the world. This is an enormous country, and you can pretty much go coast to coast and hit great parks along the way. It gets a bit spotty between California and Texas, but you know what I mean. As I venture outside North America for the first time in my life this summer, I wanted to see what else is out there. Who else focuses on parks and rides like we do here in America? I did some research, tallied them up, and today I wanted to share what I found. These are the 15 best countries for coasters. Number 15, Sweden, 35 coasters, eight thrill, eight extreme. This is one of the countries I get to visit this year and they have some coasters that I'm very excited to ride. Number one on that list has to be Wildfire at Kalmarden, the RMC wooden coaster that dominates the skyline of this zoo. That should be a top 50 coaster and probably a lot higher. They also have two parks that I'm excited to visit, one of those being Liseberg. They have another great wooden coaster there in Balder, in Intamin Prefab, as well as the mock multi-launch Helix, and the B&M Dive Valkyria. There's also the tiny seaside park Gornalun, and they have the Gravity Group Twister, the new B&M Invert Monster, and, of course, Insane, where I can finally get on a supposedly good Intamin Zaxpin. There's quality here, but it doesn't have the quantity to be higher. Number 14, Australia. 35 coasters, 7 thrill, 10 extreme. Australia is also huge, but most of the good coasters are over on the southeastern coast. Warner Brothers Movie World has to be its premier park. The standout in the park and the whole country being the Mock Rides Hyper, DC Rivals Hyper Coaster. It also offers solid rides like the SNS El Loco Green Lantern and the Intamin Accelerator Superman Escape. Dreamworld is also over there, featuring the new Steel Taipan, equipped with a spinning back car. SeaWorld also has a new coaster in Leviathan, a very nice looking Gravity Group Woody. In the heart of Sydney, you have the coasters of Luna Park, including the world's only Intamin Hot Racer, this one called Big Dipper. Australia is already solid and it's still growing. Number 13, United Arab Emirates. 57 coasters, 10 thrill, 9 extreme. The UAE has been growing like crazy, and it's become a destination for coaster fans. The standout park here has to be Ferrari World, showcasing the world's fastest coaster in Formula Rosa, hitting 149 miles an hour. They also just opened the very weird Mission Ferrari, this dynamic attraction's SFX coaster. And Flying Aces is one of those rare intimate hypers with wing seating, kind of like Skyrush. Bollywood is opening a big-time GCI called Bombay Express. IMG Worlds of Adventure has a couple great looking coasters, like Velociraptor from Mock Rides and Predator from Gerslauer. Storm Coaster also just opened at the Dubai Hills Mall, a very interesting indoor intamin that winds its way down a tower. Number 12, Denmark. 47 coasters, 13 thrill, 13 extreme. One of the other countries that I'm visiting this year, Denmark is low key loaded. The standout is probably the brand new Vekoma at Farouk Summerland, Phonix. I've loved this coaster ever since it was announced, and it looks like it could be elite. This park also has Lynette, a launch Gerslauer. Jers Summerland has eight coasters, the best being Puritan, one of those coveted Intamin Megalites. Bakken has the awesome looking Intamin Spinner, Tornado, and Bon Bon Land has the Dog Fart Coaster. What else do you need? Throw in Tivoli Gardens with a 109 year old Rushubanen and the B&M Floorless Daemonen. Denmark is really coming in strong. Number 11, Belgium, 35 coasters, 10 thrill, 11 extreme. The overall numbers are a bit down, but Belgium has some rock stars in their lineup. Plopsaland de Pan has six coasters, the new star being Ride to Happiness, the Mock Rides Extreme Spinner. Everyone who's ridden it says it's way better than Time Traveler, and based on the footage, I believe them. Plopsaland also has the great looking Gerslauer, Anubis the Ride, and the GCI Heidi. Then you go over to Wallaby Belgium for nine more coasters. This is where you'll find Conda, Intamin's newest mega coaster. And like Ride to Happiness, this looks like a contender for top 10 in the world. Rounding out Belgium, you have Bobby on land, featuring the Gerslauer Infinity Coaster, Fury, full of launches and wacky elements. Number 10, Canada, 66 coasters, 14 thrill, 16 extreme. Our neighbors to the north don't have a ton of parks, but the parks they have are pretty good. Canada's Wonderland is one of the biggest parks in the world, featuring a three-headed B&M monster, Leviathan, the Giga, Behemoth, the Hyper, and Yukon Striker, the world's tallest dive coaster. Cedar Fair is well represented, and Six Flags answer is La Ronde, home of the B&M mini hyper, Goliath. On the west coast, Playland is home to one of the wildest wooden coasters ever, the 65-year-old coaster. This has some of the most violent airtime you could ever want. 
You also have Dragon Mountain at Marineland, a very weird aero terrain looper, and they could have added Mindbender at the West Edmonton Mall, but that's being dismantled this year, so oh well. Canada is still pretty good. Number 9. Italy. 132 coasters, 38 thrill, 14 extreme. With well over 100 coasters, you can see a lot of these are small scale. You probably want to go over to Mirabilandia. They're loaded with cool looking rides. The best probably being iSpeed, the Intamin Blitz Coaster, but they also have the monster B&M Invert, Katoon. Gardaland is also a must do, featuring the original B&M Wing, Raptor, plus the B&M Dive, Oblivion the Black Hole. There's also Alt Air at Cinecita World, featuring 10 inversions, and the Mock Rides Mega Coaster at Etnaland, Storm. This isn't the biggest ride, but it looks very interesting. Number 8. Spain. 54 coasters, 12 thrill, 13 extreme. When you think of Spain, you have to go straight to Port Aventura. The standout here is Shambhala, one of the biggest B&M hypers out there. Plus, they have Dragon Con, another B&M that was the first to reach 8 inversions. Also extreme, but polarizing, there's Furious Baco, using a hydraulic launch to get up to 84 miles per hour while you're on the side of the track. On the same complex, you have Ferrari Land, featuring the 367 foot tall, 112 miles per hour Intamin monster, Red Force. Parque Warner Madrid has a massive B&M Flores called Superman, plus the Vacoma giant inverted boomerang, Stuntfall. And new for 2023, the Intamin multi-launch called Batman Gotham City Escape, on the shortlist for the best coaster opening up this year. Finally, you have Parque de Atraciones de Madrid. They have the rare Intamin SLC, Tornado, and the extended Maurer X-Car, Abismo. Number 7. The Netherlands. 58 coasters, 9 thrill, 14 extreme. Wallaby Holland is a star here, their new RMC hybrid, Untame, being the standout, supported by the Intamin mini mega coaster, Goliath, as well as the mock Big Dipper, Lost Gravity. They're soon to have dueling RMC Raptors in a couple years, one side being family friendly, the other side extreme. Toverland has a couple good ones, the GCI Troy and the B&M Wing Phoenix. Efteling is full of well-themed rides, including the B&M Dive Baron 1898 and the GCI Racing Woody Joris Indedrak. Finally, Slaharan only has two coasters, but one of them is the very impressive Gerslauer Infinity Coaster Gold Rush. Number 6. Poland. 78 coasters, 22 thrill, 8 extreme. Poland has been lifted up by their mega park, Energylandia, growing like crazy since 2014. This is soon to have 20 coasters, and although a lot of them are family friendly, they have four you can really look forward to. Zadra is the star of the country, the 206 foot RMC Hyper Hybrid, and Hyperion is right there behind it, the 269 foot Intamin Mega Coaster. Also, the Vacoma Shockwave known as Abyssus, and the original Vacoma Space Warp, Formula. The other park to look out for is Legendia, home to another Vacoma, the Bermuda Blitz Let Coaster. Poland's profile continues to grow, but right now, their good stuff is very concentrated. Number 5. France. 178 coasters, 78 thrill, 19 extreme. France is about to get a brand new number one coaster, the Intamin Multi-Launch Coaster at Parc Asterix, Tutatis. This park also has the CCI Tonnerre 2 Zeus, coming off a major retrap from the Gravity Group in 2022, and the B&M Invert Osiris. Over at Niglo Land, Alpina Blitz is a Mock Rides Mega Coaster, and that looks like an airtime machine. Wallaby Roan Alps has the Gerstlauer Infinity Coaster, Mystic, plus the Gravity Group Woody, Timber. Paris also has two coasters on their Disney properties. The newly rethemed Avengers Assemble Flight Force, formerly known as Rock and Roller Coaster, as well as Star Wars Hyperspace Mountain Rebel Mission, a triple looping launch version of this Disney classic. To round it out, Futuroscope has a new Intamin spinning coaster with indoor and outdoor sections, Objective Mars. Number 4. The United Kingdom. 206 coasters, 37 thrill, 25 extreme. It's crazy that this small country has that many coasters, and they're spread out over a bunch of different parks. Alton Towers is the headliner, featuring rides like the Smiler, the record holder with 14 inversions, also the great B&M invert Nemesis, and they have a bunch of unique coasters, having to stay under the tree line. Thorpe Park has another inversion machine, Colossus, along with Saw the Ride, a Gerstlauer Eurofighter, the Swarm, a B&M Wing, and Stealth, an Intamin Accelerator. Next year, they'll be adding Project Exodus, a 236-foot mock hypercoaster that may become the best ride in the country. Blackpool Pleasure Beach has a bunch of coasters, including the big one in Icon. Flamingo Land has Sick and nine other coasters. And Chessington World of Adventures is about to open the first B&M shuttle coaster, Mandrill Mayhem. It doesn't seem like the UK is full of elite coasters, but they have a ton of solid rides. Number 3. China. 1,781 coasters, 598 thrill, 314 extreme. The numbers in China are off the charts, but a lot of these big coasters are knockoffs from Chinese companies. 
This doesn't mean they're bad. I'm really not sure how they run, but they also have plenty of brand name coasters. This includes the SNS 40 coaster at China Dinosaurs Park, Dinoconda. They have a great looking mock hyper at Liwa Adventure, Flash. They also have a huge Intamin mega coaster at Nanchang Sunak Land, Coaster Through the Clouds, along with Intamin, Soaring with Dragon, Megalite, Steel Dolphin, and Skycar. Big time BMs like Parrot Coaster, Starry Sky Ripper, a nearly 200 foot wing coaster in Falcon, and Flight of the Himalayan. Then you have other launch coasters, like the SNS, OCT Thrust SSC 1000, and a bunch of New Age Vacomas, including the Top Gun models. This is about as stacked as you can get. Number 2. Japan. 206 coasters, 38 thrill, 46 extreme. There are good parks all around, but for coasters, you have to focus on two. First, Fuji Q Highland and the SNS 40 Monster Aijanaika. I hope Dodadampa reopens at some point. That has the fastest acceleration in the world, and it's a bucket list experience. They also have the giant Togo, Fujiyama, and the Gerslauer masterpiece, Takabisha. The biggest park is Nagashima Spa Land, home to the world's longest coaster, Steel Dragon 2000. They also have the highly praised new RMC hybrid, Hakuge, one of the few remaining Ultra Twisters, a B&M flyer called Acrobat, just some of the 14 coasters. Tobu Zoo has the Intamin Megalite, Kawasemi, Bandit at Yamuri Land, Pyrenees at Parque España, Thunder Dolphin at Tokyo Dome City, and then there's Universal Studios, home to one of the craziest flying coasters in the world, Flying Dinosaur, and the very weird B&M Mini Hyper, Hollywood Dream. Japan isn't very big, but you can find good coasters all over the place. Number 1. Germany. 269 coasters, 77 thrill, 30 extreme. I've said it for a long time. If I could choose one country to visit for coasters, it would be Germany. It's hard to pinpoint the headliner, but there's a lot of options. Let's go to Holiday Park for Expedition G-Force. That Intamin Mega Coaster is 22 years old now, but it's still considered one of the best. Then you have the well-themed Fantasia Land, home of some of the most amazing coasters on the planet. There is the new Vacoma Launch Flying Coaster, Fly, weaving around its own village. The Intamin Blitz Coaster, darting around and through its own network of rocks, Terran. And one of the best-looking B&M inverts with an amazing train layout, Black Mamba. You also have Hansa Park, home to two amazing Gerslauers, Flute von Novgorod, and one of my biggest bucket list coasters, Schwer des Karnen. Haida Park has the B&M Dive Coaster, Crake, the B&M Wing Coaster, Flug der Daimonen, and the original Intamin prefabricated wooden coaster, Colossus. This was retracked and rethemed and looks better than ever. Make a stop over at Tripstrill for the new Vacoma STC, Hall's Uber Cope, and then finish at Europa Park, consistently named the world's best park at the Golden Ticket Awards. Owned by the Mach family and home of 13 coasters, this includes Blue Fire, Wodan, and the B&M Hyper, Silver Star. Germany is full of great coasters and well-themed beautiful parks, and I got it as my top-ranked country for coasters. Of course, this is aside from the USA. Here, we have 893 coasters in operation, 232 thrill, 300 extreme, just to put it in context. I think the quality of these rides overall is better than China. They have about the same amount of extreme coasters, but doubles up America in thrill coasters and coasters overall. Let me know what you think about this list, and if you would have changed anything around, sound off in the comments below. Before you go, don't forget to drop a like, and if you're new here and want to see more content like this, please give me a sub. Also, check out my links below for my Discord server, and my second channel where I post copyright-free off-ride footage, and my baseball channel if you're also a baseball fan. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.